G'day. So it's Sunday morning. Um, I've come out a bit late today. I launched at 10 o'clock this morning. Um, the breeze has been pretty strong all morning, but it's forecast to drop out about 10.30, 11, and drop out to almost nothing over lunch. Um, well, that's according to the forecast anyway. So Jack wanted to fish early this morning because it's the only window he had, and I feel really bad that I didn't go, but it was windy and I knew it wasn't going to be very nice, so we kind of shut it down. I've launched a bit late. I'm heading down. My plan is um, I'm heading down to some breaking reefs a bit further along the coast here that sometimes hold kingfish. I haven't been down and had a look at them for a while because through winter the swells are just too big and you can't get near them. And now I'm actually out here. I'm starting to think the swell is probably going to be too big today anyway. But the wind is slowly dropping out. It's not too bad. So I'm going to head down to the reefs and I'll have a look and maybe get a few casts. I'm only going to throw some stick baits and poppers around and see if we can't turn something up. Um, anyway, when I get down there, we'll see if I can get close enough or fish. If I can't get close enough, then it's just a waste of the journey. But we'll have a look. I'm out on this sea, getting some fresh air, so I'm happy anyway. Wow. So I'm not even there yet. Look how <laughs> it's pretty rough and choppy through here. Uh, it's a low tide, which I hope it was going to work in my favour because sometimes on a low tide you can tuck in behind here and it's not so bad. But the way the swell is, this low tide is not making it better, it's probably making it worse. Um, you can see I've already got my anchor sitting there ready to go. I'm going to just go in a bit closer and just see, but I don't know, it looks like it's not going to be very pretty to anchor up inside here today. Certainly not going to be comfortable, that's for sure. Um, it's just breaking everywhere. You can see over here as well. It's probably not the best place to be today. I'll get in a bit closer, have a look, but if I'm not comfortable, I won't be stopping. All right, so I'm in here. Um, you can see, look at that. The swell is absolutely heaving over there. I really want to be sitting off that side there, but there's just no way. Look at that. Can you see that breaking over there? Yeah, there's just no way I'm sitting there today. I normally like to sit in this channel off to one side here, but not today. Um, in here, I know there's a big solid platform of reef in front of me here that's breaking all these swirls. So what's actually happened is that easterly is blowing out to sea, but the swell and all the water coming over the top of this here is pushing me back in. So. I'm happy that if my anchor pulls, because I've got it on a pretty short rope here, I'm happy if my anchor pulls that this chop and everything is going to push me away from the reef rather than the wind blowing me over the top of the reef. So there's probably not much danger of me getting blown over the top um, just in case the motor doesn't start or whatever. I'm pretty sure it will, but you know, I, don't know, I always like to have a, have a backup plan, a contingency. So look, it's not comfortable. It's not calm, but I'm gonna have a few casts anyway. Since I've come here, I'll have a few casts, see if I can't scare something up. Um, it's not looking ideal. Sometimes it's really, really pretty in here and nice, but today, just not. I've got a funny feeling my anchor's dragging here too. Yeah, the anchor's dragging. I might have to have another crack at it. So I'm already rigged up here with this uh, this little stick baby thing here. I don't even know what it's called. I got it from eBay, but it's already rigged up, so I'll have a few casts of that for now. Um, the plan was to throw some bigger sticks around. What's that anchor doing? The plan was to throw some bigger stick baits around. I got a couple of. Um... Oh, hang on, I don't like what's going on here. I'll have to reposition again. Just the, the uh, waves are just pushing me around a bit, but always supposed to be cautious, especially in a dynamic zone like this. Um, this is a pretty hectic zone to be, to be anchored in, even on a nice day. And today it's just pretty scary to be honest with you. So I'm always going to keep one eye on it. Don't let your fishing take precedence over your safety. Always keep an eye on what you're doing. So I'll have a few casts in here, see how we go. I don't know how long I'll be actually staying in here because it's really not pretty and I'm not feeling 100% safe. If you're not feeling safe, you probably shouldn't really be here. I'm OK 
say for now. While I'm drifting back this way, I'm happy. But then the stuff like that, that makes me a little bit worried as well. Having the, oh my god, there's a whole pack of them! Oh, oh wow! There's a whole pack of kings, like right. Oh wow! Alright, let's have one more crack at that. Wow! Oh, I just don't like the way the boat's rocking around here. I've got a feeling I'm going to get out of here in a minute. It's just not feeling so comfortable in here. Wow, so the kings are here. So this breeze was supposed to be dropping out about now, and it just doesn't seem like it is. If the breeze drops, the swell on its own won't be so bad in here, but at the moment with the breeze, sort of breeze meaning seas it's not very pretty in here as you can no doubt tell but after just hooking one like that on my third cast it's a balancing act I'm not feeling super comfortable but I'm feeling like I'm okay for now I'm pretty safe So this rod was already rigged up. Jesus. This rod was already rigged up with a little half uh, half ounce jig head. So I put it's a little five inch gob. I'm just smearing it with some strikers um, lure scent here. And I'll try that because it seems like they're not too seems like they're here but they just don't want to hit that um I don't want to hit that stick plate again. The kings are very funny like this. In the times I've seen them, they've come through, they've done raids, and then they bugger off just as quickly. Normally, if I don't see them in the first couple of minutes of being here, they're not hanging around. They come in, they do a quick raid, and then they bugger off. And then you got to wait sometimes half an hour, an hour for them to come back. Unless this wind drops a bit, I don't know how much longer I'll get this time here. So I've changed this plastic just because I can let it drop down the bottom and sort of keep it a bit closer to the bottom and work it a bit slower than the stick boat. I think I have to move it a bit faster, I was just going to snag. The plastic dog can sort of bounce a bit slower. Plus it's a gulp so it stinks. It's just like using both. 
The swell out the back, that is huge. Whoa, that was heavy. Great little spot for Skippy. Um, Jeez, he's barely sucked back here. There we go. Let's probably catch a heap of these in here. I can see a heap of them down here already. Whoa, that swell is just frightening out there on the low tide. Really what I came here for, but the skippy are red hot in here today. Oh, dude, this one's put in. Got him side on. Shallow water skippy. Great fun. Here's another one. He's just inhaled that plastic as well. Thankfully that wind is starting to settle and the boat is sitting in a better place than where it was before. Earlier on it was like right over there, next to the right next to the reef. Oh Skippy hitting it on the surface. What? Yeah, before the wind actually swung me right in there, right close to the reef. Um, I was just about to jump on the motor and get out of there. Oh! Slam! Skippy is just hitting it on the surface. Crazy. Look at this guy, he's only a little guy too. He had a red hot go. Look at him. He had a red hot go. Lou is almost as big as him. It's all good, the skippy. It's, a bit of, um, it's the old uh, food chain. If the skippy are feeding here, then the kings will be able to sense that. And hopefully they might come in for a look to see what's going on as well. Again, I don't know, like I've said it about 20 times already, I don't know how much longer I'm staying here because it's really not, I'm feeling quite nervous being in here today. Oh, I'm gonna 
have to move away from the cut. That's all I'm looking at. And another skipper. Righto, so I've just rigged up with a CID um, shiver stick. Starting a little bit bigger profile. The skippy will still probably hit this, but um, I'll get a few casts of this. Wow, first cast with the shiver stick. Now I've hooked up something over the back here. It's not huge, but I don't think it's a skippy. Wow, that was first cast. I just turned off the, the GoPro because I thought, oh, I won't waste the battery, because sure enough, when I need the battery, it'll run out. First cast with the shiver stick over the back there near the reef. Oh, it's solid. It's got some weight to it. It hasn't... Oh, it's going for a bit of a run. If it's a king, it's not a huge one. But I'm pretty sure it's not a skippy. Yeah, it's a king. Or is it a tailor? It could be a good tailor. I think it's a tailor. There you go. Nice little tailor. He's giving that shiver stick a bit of a whacking. First cast on the shiver stick. Stoked. Stand still. Nice tailor. Beautiful. All right. See if I can't get. The, can't get my coat for. I'm actually getting hot here. Yeah, I've had enough. Um, luckily, the breeze is actually going a little bit south west now, so the, the anchor's pushing me in here, which is not so bad. But I've had enough. I've been here about an hour. Got pretty beaten up. I've got a handful of skippy, a tailor. I hooked the king when I first rocked up, so I'm happy. Got what I came here for. Got a bit of fresh air, got a bit of me time. But as you can see, it's... <laughs> it's not a nice place to be. Anyway. I'm just going to see if I'll get the anchor up. Um, first, always start the motor. Make sure you're ready before you pull the anchor up. Um, as you can see, I'm pretty close to this big chunk of reef in front of me now. When I pull the anchor, I'm going to be literally right on top of that. So I want my motor ready and running and ready for action. The minute that that anchor lets go, I want to be able to grab reverse and get out of here. So make sure everything's stowed, everything's ready, especially when you're on your own. Make sure you got your um, stuff squared away and you're ready to go. Because places like this, you don't mess around in little areas like this. Anyway, I'm going to turn this off and get myself out of here. There. And I'm out. So where I really want to fish is see all that white water there, all that whitewash. And that aerated water just there. That's where I would normally, that's where I would normally want my, my um, lures and stuff to be going into all that foamy stuff. But, you know, today, You'd be on a death wish if you wanted to put the boat in there today. If you had someone driving, like I could go here, get a few casts in right now. Get a few casts in there right now. If I had someone else driving to drive and get a few casts in, um, yeah, maybe, but on your own, it's just not worth the risk. So I'm gonna get out of here. Um, yeah, I'll wait till the day when the swell is not quite. Well, if you wanted to surf, it's absolutely smoking out there today. I'll wait for a day when the swell is not quite as rude, the low tide. Um, coming into the demersal bands, myself and Jack said we're going to do a lot more of this. We're going to start popping and um, throwing stick baits for kings and um, hopefully sambos along some of the reefs along our coast. So um, that's our plan when the demersal band comes in place. So today was just a bit of a recce mission. Um, I'm happy, it just shows. I did nothing but artificials today and I've got a few fish, so I'm pretty happy. Anyway, I'm out of here. If you like our stuff, stay tuned and I'll see you in the next episode.